You are the same yesterday, today, and forever, God. We bless your name, God. Yeah, there is nobody like you, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Never change. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
así Yo The Lord bless you, our dear viewer. We are really excited to connect with, uh, with you through this medium. Many thanks for tuning in to CA Bread Connect. From wherever you're following, we want to say most welcome. 
We have a guest in the house today, and uh, this is our deputy senior pastor. Yes. The Lord bless you. Are you laughing that I'm calling you a guest? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm usual in this place. But thank you. Uh, I'm a guest. And yes. You are my host. <laughs> you are a guest and I'm the host. Wow. Thank you. Uh, we've always drawn a lot of wisdom from yes. uh, mm. your wealth of understanding. Yeah. Mm. And uh, today is another day. Amen. That the Lord has made and we want to tap again from Amen. that wisdom. Thank you. We just want to say a hi to our viewers even as you're starting. Yeah, greetings viewers. We welcome yes. you. You are actually our guest, a very special guest of yes. us on this platform. Mm. And we are going to engage on a subject which our host will be telling us. Yes. But I want to take this opportunity to welcome you, that you may listen from us. Wow. And I believe that God will bless you and mm. we continue to encourage you that you can actually put um, some questions, some comments in the chat section, wow. and we'll be able to get back to you. Otherwise, welcome and stay tuned. Wow. Amen. Wow. Yeah. And so to today we have a very, very pertinent yes. topic that you want to understand, to yes. talk about. Yes. Credibility. Yes, credibility. Credibility and yes. especially of a leader. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, we were in a forum and this came up yes. and we just thought that it's good for our viewers also yes. to have a feeling yes. of mm. whether credibility is important on what it is, yes, what is yes. it. Mm. And uh, mm. we want to talk about credibility of a leader. True, true, true. Yes. Mm. And so uh, you brought this up. Yes. What was in your mind when you thought about bringing this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted us just to look at this. After listening to the speaker mm. in what we call an exclusive in our SMLD, mm. our School of Leadership uh, um, Development Program, which we do it for a select of the people. Yes. Uh, we looked at leadership, uh, mm. credibility, as ability to be believed, yes. believability. Mm. Are you credible? Mm. Are you trusted? Are you honest? Mm. And it kept my mind rolling after mm. that session. How mm. comes that sometimes even Christians mm. cannot trust one another? Yes. Is it because we are not credible? Mm. I've seen some banks that are owned by different religions, which I don't want to mention to mm. this platform, that people can actually guarantee one another of mm. a particular loan and they go. But you find even Christians... Mm. Uh, can't trust one another. Yes. And I was wondering, maybe our level of credibility is low mm. or our believability or honesty scale mm. is quite minimal, maybe closer or lesser than an average. Mm. So I think that is what prompted me to yeah. uh, ask you, would you consider us to have a, a discussion mm. around this subject? Mm. So that's also my mind. By wow. yes. yes. And so when you're talking about credibility of mm. a Christian leader, yes. what are we talking about? We're talking about integrity. We're mm. talking about uh, trust. Are they honest? Mm. Are they people that you can really be able to count that they can be good stewards mm. of the resources God has endowed to them mm. uh, and serve God faithfully in that particular line? So mm. we talk about faithful timekeeping, mm. keeping their word. Mm. Um, um, you know, I was in another forum after that. Yes. And that's why it hit me even harder. And people were complaining of uh, mm. uh, people that were guaranteed loans yes. wow. uh, by a fellow minister. Whoa. And somebody defaults to pay. Uh, wow. Quite sad. And uh, wow. I felt that we need to rethink and reevaluate wow. and wow. review mm. our credibility scale. So we talk about honesty, mm. keeping our word, keeping our time. Mm. Um, are, we, are we people that when you are given uh, a certain, you no, know, when you are growing up, we used to be given money by our parents mm. and they would ch check mm. whether you are faithful. Mm. Are you returning change? Because yes. they know that a matchbox goes for five bob. Yes. So they give you 50 bob. So you realize that you, you come and you don't return. You mm. know, or mm. you turn less, eh? mm. and the parents would know that you are not believable. So, if yes. you're such a kind of person, then mm. if they're sending for much book, they only give you literally five shillings. Mm. They don't have change, then they have to look for somebody that can be believed. Wow. So, we are talking about that aspect of being faithful with the resources God has given you. Mm. Some of us, even with the talents God has given you, there are mm. people that are very extravagant. You can be uh, running a big church and God by his own wisdom is mm. given you uh, lavish and people are giving well. Are you able to, to be trusted with the resources God has given mm. you as a minister. What about wow. information? There wow. are people who distort information mm. maliciously and intentionally. Wow. You just send somebody. I you see who was teaching one of my mm. my students in the Hobbs camp. Yes. And you did an action. 
uh, of about 10 children yes and uh, the last action that was done was uh, was not the one that you did initially yes. <laughs> but now yes. that aside there are people that intentionally twist the truth mm. just to be able maybe to feed themselves yes. or maybe to paint the other one so mm. i think that is what i'm talking about in terms of credibility mm. when you talk about christian leaders because yes. christian leaders uh, have a weight of leadership Yes. The weight of leadership is that when God has called us, he has asked us. In fact, the book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse mm. 1 talks about that a good name is mm. better than great riches. Wow. You may want to read that yes. later on. Mm. A good name is mm. better than great riches. Yes. But now people want to get greater riches mm. by destroying their name. Wow. I don't know whether they know or not. So people want wow. to paint and sugarcoat wow. their character. Wow. So they are not who they are. So wow. the smart people you see, it is just a comfort of, wow. of who God wants us wow. to be. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You mm. just mentioning something about character. Yes. And reputation. Yes. Well, what you are and what people think yes. you are. Mm. And we are placing a lot of value on mm. what people have to think yes. about us against mm -hmm. what we really are. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And so when you're talking about credibility. Mm. Is it a process that is earned? How do people come to a level of being credible? Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. Credibility is mm. a long time process. Mm. Um, you, you employ somebody, somebody has said you get a job yes. because of your papers. Mm. Your characters will keep you there. Mm. Or put it differently that mm. people will accept you by their first image of seeing who you are, your color, your papers, and many things. Mm. But what will make the relationship, your friends too, it is your reputation mm. and your character. Mm. So then that tells you that actually reputation and character, which forms uh, part of, of what you call credibility, yes. is a long time process. Yes. Are you a person that can show consistency? Because mm. one of the things that you will see in the people that are not believable mm. is inconsistencies. Yes. You cannot, if they come to tell you a sentence and yes. you listen keenly, like even in mm. court of law, mm. you cannot make a B and C, mm. join a dot until you get to Z. Yes. You get a mismatch mm. of their words with their actions, words with another words, action with another action. Mm. So that tells you that actually credibility is a long time uh, thing. You gain yes. it every day. People trust you. The Bible says that whoever can be trusted with little mm. can be trusted with much. It yes. means there is a time that you can be credible mm. in a small scale, yes. so to speak. Yes. And then there are times when you grow from small scales to higher level to higher level. Yes. So it's a long time process, wow. which now you, you, you develop it in yes. terms of how do you show your skills in, in matching your vision, mm. mission, Yes. Uh, and the things that God has called you to do. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. Very, very insightful. Mm. You see, Jesus gave an example of mm. uh, people being credible. Mm. And he, talk, he, he mentioned a case of somebody who had talents. Mm. And he gave them to several people. And, yes. uh, you know, at, in, in the long run, mm. some brought back, mm. you know, what they were given and together with the profit. They even didn't keep the profit. Yes, yes. Yeah, they brought together mm -hmm. with the profit. Yes, but double again, profit actually. Yes. Yes, the five, there was talents. They talk yes. of talents and those talents actually is equivalent to yes. a substance like gold. Yes. So the five brought five. Yes. The two brought two. But this yes. one brought yes. just, he went and buried it. Yes. Yes. You see, I'm looking at a case where mm. you're doing business mm. and uh, you don't just say that I want to give my master Mm. What is his, the yes. five that gave you? Mm. I mm. can even reduce, you know, part of the profit and keep it to myself. Yes. The man is bringing everything, mm. the entire profit. Entire profit and the entire and I think that God has given him. Yes. Live alone. You know, when you become credible, you mm. really bring in a very good uh, aspect of it. You mm. don't go and cut yourself what you think is yours. Yes. Like an employee. I've seen people, um, they would say that because I'm the one who brought this money, you pay yourself. You, pay you bring yourself. it to the master. Yes. That's being paid for. And the master say, you've done well. Yes. So I have gifted you. Mm. So if you go and cut yourself your small portion or you mm. go and destroy what you're given, then you're not credible. Yes. Yeah. It is something that applies in our case. Yes. You're doing a business mm. and you want to make your cut first yes. before you... You, you, you present you present it to yeah to, yeah. to, to your mm. boss yeah and so uh when you're talking about credibility we've mm. talked about the long process mm. of earning credibility yes can somebody lose 
credibility in the in the long run. Yes. Is it possible? Yes, it's yes. very possible to lose credibility mm. and believability. Mm. Um, take example for many of us who take loans. Yes. You can get your first loan, mm. repay, get the second one, mm. get the third one, mm. then you stop paying. They call it the the the, the, the level of um, what do you call it the CRB, yes. the credit, uh, the the credit uh, something. I, I can't yes. remember exactly. Mm. So it reaches a place whereby they say your credit history mm. is not good. You are no longer credible. Mm. Now that applies to level of leadership. Yes. There are great people that started well, even in ministry. Mm. But along the way, they lose that believability. Mm. You see a huge charge of about mm. 10,000 seater, 5,000 seater. Mm. People believed in these people. Of course, credibility is believability. Yes. But along the way, you realize that these people, um, people are reducing their churches. Their mm. prayer life of that church, you go there, is mm. no longer there. We we'll talk of a business that once it was blooming and blossoming, mm. but at one point it's going down. That mm. is an indicator that actually mm. credibility mm. can be reduced or credibility can mm. be lost. Mm. And so the answer is yes. Mm. I don't know what is the next question. No, I'm just trying to look at this <laughs> because we are actually trying to help our viewers. Yes, yes. And maybe what we want to ask, to 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 be to help them be cautious about. Mm. We want to maybe with your wisdom. Mm. What are some red flags that of people are losing. supposed to be careful yes, yes. about, you know? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You know, um, everything begins with a single step. In fact, mm. they say that give the devil a room mm. and he will take in charge of the everything. Mm. When you become a Christian mm. and you realize that maybe you are really doing well in terms of your gifts mm. and you get at a place you are giving room to lies, mm. small cheating of some few things. Mm. Now, you, 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 you are really losing in terms of credibility. Mm. So it comes, first of all, when you realize that people are just beginning some slowness of, of, of certain attributes mm. that they were having initially, mm. they will rule, lose credibility. Some mm. people would like now to change friends. You don't mm. want accountability. Yes. You know, credible people, they don't fear anyone. One of our, my greatest, uh, I would say a mentor, because mm. I told you that we used to sit in yes. the last class of bishop, uh, mentorship class for pastors called the refinery, mm. he used to tell us that um, uh, as an individual, wherever mm. you serve, when mm. you do right, mm. no one will ever question you. You mm. can stand before people and say, I did right. But when you realize that people are cutting corners, mm. they will now start stopping, take this friend, they accuse this one, they accuse this one. Mm. The people who do right, they don't fear. They mm. don't fear even for their positions. Yes. They can work with anyone at any time. Yes. So once you realize that somebody is, uh, you look like a long ranger, mm. no accountability, don't want accountability, mm. or you had an accountability, yes. you are refusing. So that is it. In fact, somebody else has said, uh, if it was like in a marriage, because mm. credibility goes in different leadership. Yes. Uh, he said that someone who cannot account for time, mm. And cannot account how they use their money. Yes. Their credibility scale is going down. Those mm. two things. Wow. Because if somebody can tell you how they are spending time mm. and who they are spending their time mm. and then who they are spending their money on mm. and with. Yes. Now, that's a red flag. Mm. of credibility. Wow. Yes. You've just mentioned <laughs> you've just mentioned a serious one. Yes. A serious impediment that stands on the ways of many people. Yes. The money, the yes. money aspect. The money aspect. And being faithful with money. Yes. I want you to stay there a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we want to help our people. Yes, yes. This aspect of money. Yes. You know, money money is the biggest, I don't know that a snare or what. Yes. In ministry and in the, you know, in in, in in marketplace. Yes. We struggle in the place of money. Yes, yes. Money with, you know, what belongs to God, faithfulness with tithe, faithfulness, yes, you know. Yes, yes. But even faithfulness out there mm. with money, compromising mm. small things with policemen on the way, on the road, yes. you know, giving. Yes. And, you know, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Can that taint a believer? No. It, Yes. Mm, yes, it really taints. In mm. fact, a believer that is not very faithful on money, mm. that is a Christian that you need to be aware of. Judas mm. was that. Mm. 
Mm. You know, Judas used to count. He was the tax collector. He was the treasurer mm. in the disciples' circle. Yes. At one point, when he sees this, the, the, that woman that was offering uh, alabaster oil, say this one should have been used to give the, to the to the children mm. or to, to the needy children or the, mm. the, the needy. Mm. But the exposure of that passage says that Judas was not concerned about the, yes. the, the, the needy. Mm. He just wanted the money to come. Yes. And maybe now he has his catch because you realize how he ended his life as a disciple. Mm. As a believer, mm. one of the greatest impediments that can actually taint your image is money. Mm. You borrow money. There are mm. people who borrow from anyone and any time mm. and they don't pay. Mm. As much as you have genuine case, know how to live within your means. Yes. There are others God has endowed to be managers of resources that mm. are Christians. Mm. Know what is yours and what is not. Do not borrow. A friend of mine um, is a pastor, not of some city. Mm. Um, they are doing this treasure where you have three people as signatory mm. and two can sign the account. So mm. at one point that they put a lot of money for building the house, the one they do fundraising every Sunday. Yes. But at one point, um, these guys decide to go and say that they can make more money because poultry is, is, is a blooming business. Mm. So they agreed to jointly to go and withdraw money mm. and start a business of doing poultry. They would return with profit anyway. <laughs> yes. And they go and put poultry and the poultry dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me tell you, I don't know how the devil, the devil is a liar. Let me tell you, my brother. Yes. My head. Uh, two weeks um, after the, these things are died and the, mm. the, the chairman of the report says, now we should continue doing the project as we continue fundraising. <laughs> yes. These guys don't have money. Yes. The poultry has died. Mm. They go to account with the other signatory. They realize the two of them withdrew money because it was mm. withdrawn by the signatories. Exactly. They did it, um, it with a good intention. They would return. Mm. But by fact that they lose that money is very sensitive. Yes. Um, they are asked for money they don't have. Mm. They have no profit. Yes. So what ends up is that um, people say, and this guy is, we knew, they are liars. <laughs> and the story wow. goes on in that wow. chat and people refuse that, remove them mm. from the treasure. Mm. What I'm trying to say and what I'm putting across is mm. that money mm. is a great snare wow. in terms of credibility. In mm. fact, um, you know, people are talking about... Um, I'm uh, talking about uh, around three things that um, affect a man of God. Mm. One of them is sex, some of them is power, and mm. the other one is this with money, mm. um, money possessions. We talk yes. of power, mm. um, we talk of power, possessions, mm. and I talked of which one? There were three Ps. Yeah, they are characters. Yes, yes, yes. They, they so they in the end, you yes. realize that the money is a very great contributor. Mm. There was a study that was done back in 19 for, for mm. 2014 or 2015 by mm. Pastor. Yes. And they also alluded that mm. actually unfaithfulness with money yes. is breaking relationships mm. in terms of marriages mm. than uh, infidelity. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That must be very serious. Wow. So when many of mm. us think that the greatest sin which the Bible talks about mm. is unfaithfulness, mm. the conduct of that study mm. says that actually the unfaithfulness mm. with how people handle their money in their marriages mm. is breaking more marriages than Wow. In infidelity. Mm. So it tells you that money is a great snare mm. in terms of credibility. Wow. And in many times, many people enter there and do whatever they do yes. without paying attention mm. that an accident like what I'm telling you, you could yeah. lose the money in exactly. a business. Yes. Or else you just think, let me buy my child some mm. milk and they ask you as a treasurer, mm. where is the money? Because if money was meant for child, why are you using it for personal things? Exactly. You get it. So mm. you must use it, whatever it is. So mm. it's a great snare. It's a great thing that is affecting yes. many people. And wow. you know, money is a talk of anything wow. everywhere. Wow. Yes. Very, very profound. Mm. You're saying that it doesn't matter how noble the idea is. It, it, yes, it, yes. Much as the money is not yours, mm. it should not be used for personal. You should not use it anyway. In fact, one of the things yes. when you talked about credibility mm. is that mm. keep your word mm. and know what is driving you. Mm. Because many of you God has endowed you to be even treasurers of funeral places. Yes. Just assume mm. you are collecting money. Mm. There's a time we are collecting for somebody and I was a treasurer. I collect 100,000. Mm. And then you reach at a place you fuel the, your car. Mm. And then the, the people realize that. Well, as much as you intend to return that money, that mm. is lack of credibility. Wow. And when it comes to attention of the committee and mm. other people, people mm. will not believe you. Yes. The believability level is slow. 
Wow. And you know, even when people go and they want to choose a treasure, if they realize you have a lot of problems that you use different money for anything, people mm. don't want, they want people wow. to keep their word. Wow. That if they give him a hundred thousand, ask that hundred thousand, be wow. it at night or during the day, mm. we get a hundred thousand. Then the availability, the credibility scale wow. will be high. Wow. Yeah. Very, very insightful. Mm. And so, We've talked about mm. cases that are compromised. Mm. Now, when somebody has lost their credibility, mm. is it possible for them to come back? Yeah, the Bible says, again, yes. from Proverbs, I can't remember mm. the passage, mm. that a righteous man, uh, it says a righteous man <laughs> can fall down seven yes. times, yes. but they will rise up again. Mm. I would want to put that and say, a credible person can actually fall many times. Mm. The Bible says, <laughs> and they can rise up wow, wow. again. It's, yes. it's possible for you to rise. Mm. But now, the greatest challenge is that once you lose trust, even in marriage, mm. gaining it is an uphill task. Mm. I should mention that. Yes. You can really rise up, mm. but being believable is very difficult. Wow. It's almost next to impossibility. Wow. But you no, know, for us, because we are Christian wow. and talking about perspective, you will talk about a point that now I have repented, wow. I'm walking, but the level of trust, wow. the level of credibility mm. will not be like your initial level. Mm. So I would really suggest and encourage many of our viewers mm. indeed to work and ensure that they keep their credibility wow. level high. In fact, wow. Uh, at one point, um, I was borrowing some money from a mushari mm. and it was new. Uh, if you don't repay, mm. they reduce your credit scale to zero. And yes. they, when I, then they start to, to raise it. Mm. But now it may, sometime I realized that I could not even get where I was initially. Wow. They really doubt your repayment history. Wow. <laughs> wow. So if that is what is in the human contact, then it mm. means that people that have really fallen, Mm. gaining the credibility is very possible. Yes. But it's an, up, an uphill wow. task. It's an wow. uphill task. Wow, you are saying that choices have consequences. Yes. You'll have to live <laughs> with the consequences. <laughs> of, of, of falling, particularly. Yes. Uh, whichever the way, because, but you can mm. choose, you can choose to repent to people genuinely. God can do a miracle. Yes. But people will always doubt you. They can doubt the, whether you can really stand again. Because if indeed they believe, they can even, you know, because we are humans, mm. okay, uh, you say maybe we didn't know him very well, mm. not knowing that it was just a temptation of a certain moment. Yes. So yeah, we really need to guard ourselves against any devices that can reduce our credibility. Wow. wow. Yeah. Now uh, you see, in the secular world, mm. we have these cases. Uh, I mean, one thing that normally goes around mm. when somebody has been implicated in something. Mm. they always use a term of, can you leave the office? Mm -hmm. Can you resign? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> they reprimand this person by wanting him to come out publicly. Yes. What we normally see is that they don't. Yes. But for a Christian, is it right for them to come out publicly? What would you advise? Wow. Um, mm. This is it's quite a tricky area depending on the level and sensitivity in the yes. person. Mm. Uh, there are things when, you know, when Jesus was with disciples, there are things mm. that he discussed when there were a few of them. Yes. So whether to come to public or not, it's, it's, it's a matter would give a yes and no. Mm. But the best thing for a good Christian who is credible, mm. they should not fear to come out and say, indeed, I have fallen mm. themselves. Mm. Yeah, they do not allow others to come because mm. credibility is about your personal work with God. Mm. And the only person that knows you well, my elder, is yourself mm. and, and God. Somebody else says and mm. certain. I'm not sure about certain, yeah, yeah. but I will leave that away. <laughs> but the yes. only thing is, is you need to calm yourself and mm. bring before people and say, "May people, you have entrusted me with this, mm. and things have happened either by my own volition mm. or because of the circumstance and the work environment. So mm. I have come out myself. Mm. So it really you can choose to come to people and seek to be restored mm. and work with people. Uh, publicly depending because if you are a public person mm. you cannot handle a public scene privately mm. so that is my answer yes if the, the credibility level has affected a mass of people mm. you cannot handle that at the back room because what mm. you're trying to do is you're just putting it under the carpet and the people mm. are not seeing any restoration process yes so essentially and more importantly mm. if the thing affects the common good of many mm. 
the best thing is that it must come publicly and they be explored well with wisdom mm. and the person involved mm. also ask for a public apology because mm. god in his own way you know he says whatever you do in a secret mm. he will bring it in public mm. so it, in the end when it comes in public people will say yes it happened mm. but the person has apologized mm. so that is my attempt to that particular question yes. that indeed it mm. can come to the public mm. and behind in some cases um mm. people can walk um with the leadership depending on how it can affect many people mm. but at one point it should be able to come and reach to the congregation wow. or where they work mm. and say this and this came to our attention maybe mm. in, in a more subtle way and wise way mm. and we have worked with him in full restored mm. um and so he's able to do a b c d wow. so that that removes the the many thing because the assumption people think and make is that you are not known mm. but somebody inside the congregation or mm. where you live Yes. could be knowing your character could be knowing what you did wow. so uh, uh, for public uh, if it affect the public let mm. it come public wow yes wow mm. and if it doesn't yes can, and if it hasn't yes. but definitely to be affecting concerned person mm. let it go to the concerned person because it may not be the many people mm. but a group of people like mm. if, for example are sitting in a board mm. of advisory and something has come within the dispute among that mm. then definitely within that circle it must be addressed within circle wow. to restore that so wow. it may not just be alone because mm. if you are alone then it may not it may not be not may not wow. be need to be addressed so wow. let it be public for public if wow. within concerned persons wow. then let it be addressed within that concerned wow. parties wow. yeah wow mm. wow very mm. very profound very yes. very profound unfortunately mm. pastor yes. our time is really running fast thank you sometimes yes. you just don't realize yes yes that time is flying yes yes and uh we have to bring this to a close you want to make parting mm. shot perhaps yes. you want to talk to our viewer mm. just to wrap this up okay and then see if you can pray with thank them thank you as well. thank yes. you mm. and let me appreciate you yes. for that clear, excellent moderation thank you. of the mm. session so thank viewers you. indeed we are called to be the light mm. uh you to salt and the light of the world mm. uh, a christian credibility has really gone down and i really wonder whether we are concerned as i'm concerned mm. but if you are and then i want to encourage you check mm. what you do if you borrow money even from people that are not born again because this mm. is evangelism this is our this is who we are for mm. us to be believed as christians then we must walk the talk of christ and mm. so i really call unto you wherever you are listening and watching mm. that let's raise the credibility scale of mm. our lives let's yes. raise our credibility level of our leadership mm. let's raise our credibility in the many things we do can people believe us at our mm. workplace can people entrust us with our offices can mm. people trust that a christian can lead this nation mm. can a christian actually uh, or even non believers think that if we wanted a spouse church is the place mm. or if i wanted to go and transact business a christian is he mm. or she be an a top person so i really want to challenge you to reflect on your credibility scale look at your barometer or mm. thermometer of your uh, credibility mm. as you talked about and guard it jealously Mm. once you lose it to gain it is very difficult you can look at examples of men that mm. once were highly regarded in this society once mm. they fell even no one talks about them mm. and they have re- repented before people now people are snobbing them and they are no longer a talk of the day mm. but we don't just want to be a talk of the day we want to be the talk even in the heaven that god gave us a mandate to serve him mm. and we faithfully were able to guard whatever he gave us so i mm. challenge you to evaluate that and i pray that god will help you to be a christian who is mm. integral a leader that is credible believable mm. honest yes. the person that can be trusted with with any resource of any magnitude and i believe that god will bless you mm. god is not a respecter of person but god looks unto our heart and how we handle the things he has given unto us and so lord so i want to pray with you and i encourage you that god will help you to be able to raise the standard mm. of believability yes. we are the future of this nation in mm. terms of leading we are the majority wow. but yet because of our credibility level being low many people don't think or give a dawn of who we are shall we pray mm. father in the name of jesus we thank you 
Thank you for allowing us to look at credibility. I pray that you help us a Christian, that we not take things for granted and believe and do our own things. But Lord, help us to appropriate your word, your, everything that you've given unto us, being faithful stewards, oh God. In the name of Jesus, some people, oh God, you've given them five talents. May they bring five more, some two, oh God. And for many that were given talents and they are hiding, I pray that you're going to help them to wake up to the realization mm. that they can do better. Oh God, we worship you. We thank you. Thank you for allowing us to discuss this. We had not have the monopoly of knowledge. Even myself, oh God, help me that I will be able to trust you, that I will be a honest person. I will be a person that can be trusted with the resources and with the, everything that you've given me for the for the Father of your kingdom. So Lord, we thank you and we honor you. Bless each one of us in Jesus' name. We pray. Mm. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you, Pastor. Thank that you so much. Profound. Amen. We have really enjoyed the session and we are praying that the Lord will replenish you more. Amen. Yeah. And for you, our viewer, we hope that you've drawn some wisdom out of this discussion. We are praying that the Lord will enable you to be a credible person, even in your different area of influence and in your spheres. May the Lord be with you. It was nice to have you. Until we meet again, stay blessed. <laughs>